I've actually been fighting since my son was in primary school, um, at reception age. Um, the school didn't believe that he had autism, um, because, but I could see it. I, I understood it. Um, because he's academically gifted, they weren't interested. I had to do my own self-referral to the autism um, assessment service. Finally, in year six, um, we we got that assessment done during COVID, so it was all done online. Um, but actually, it was good because his um, his dad wasn't um, sure about what I was saying. He because I had experience around children, whereas he didn't. He had nothing to compare it to. Um, but he he was able to see online. Actually, I'm, I'm seeing what you're seeing now. Um, so finally got that diagnosis, um, but I thought it was going to open up doors for support. It didn't. Um, and he's now in year eight. He's still not really getting a huge amount of support. I've applied for an EHCP assessment um, just to see if he can even get an EHCP, and they're even refusing to assess him because academically he's fine. Um, but EHCP stands for Educational Health Care Plan. Social health, emotional health, he is suffering. Um, and the schools put him into some of these interventions, um, but they lasted six weeks and then suddenly it was all withdrawn. Now he's left with nothing. I mean, I've asked the school what he's going to get and there's nothing that they've, they've put forward. Um, I've tried twice to get in the HCP for him, keep getting refused, um, and I just feel like it's just a constant battle. It heads butting against walls. Um, he's just not getting the support he deserves, um, let alone the support that he needs.